everyone welcome back to my channel mini reviews today i do have another brand product review for you today it is all about the brand bh cosmetics they are up for review um but yes i did buy the uh take me back to brazil palette and i honestly do love the palette i love the colors they blend very very well i didn't really notice much fallout i think when i used this shade that's when i did notice a little bit of fallout but not very much and yeah, I love the colors. I've purchased the actual foundation. I'm not a big fan of this one because it applied very nicely on my skin. But whenever I would go in with the rest of the products, it would somehow lift it, especially around my nose. You can see right here um, that my foundation is pretty much gone right here. Concealer was a big no-no for me. I did not like this concealer, not even a little bit. It really accentuates my pores and we don't want to do that. We want to just erase the pores. Um, I did like the actual uh, blush palette and I'm going to use these all the time as well. Um, I also did purchase their uh, makeup brushes. I didn't use them all today just because I just I didn't. I used most of their um, eye though. You can see we went in with some color um and these are actually very very nice brushes they feel really nice not very heavy um but they're beautiful and they're pink so they're cute and this is super they're super super soft as well so i'm very very surprised and um i i don't know they're really good brushes i need an actual a highlighter palette and i do like the highlighter i think nicely it's beautiful i love it um, I love it. it has a big mirror as well, so that's nice. So this is actually a win for me as well. But yeah, if you want to just hang out with me today and just play with some makeup, please uh, continue watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Okay, so I went ahead and I primed my face and I'm ready to go in with my foundation, the BH Liquid Foundation, Naturally Flawless. This one is the color 212 Light. Hopefully it's my color. We all shall see. It's hard whenever it's online to like pick your, your actual color. Cause I don't know. Oh, that looks, ooh, that looks really light. That might not be my color. Yikes. Wait, I think we have to like shake it. <laughs> I always forget this part. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Those are what, two pumps? It has a lot of yellow undertone. I don't like yellow undertone. Whoa, okay, very liquidy. Doesn't smell like anything. I think we actually I think this is a pretty good color, I feel. And let's go ahead and just blend. Ooh, that is light. Is it a medium coverage? What's the coverage of this foundation? Impeccable, naturally impeccable. Oh, it's more like a natural, a natural foundation. Okay, those are good. I love my natural foundations. They're my favorite. Let's see, how does that look on the skin? That looks really nice, right? Let me do a little bit more to see if I can build the coverage. Look, that's like very liquidy, let me see. You see that? So it looks like it is pretty blendable and or it's easy to blend and it looks like you can't actually build the actual coverage. So if you wanted to go more of a um, full coverage, this one looks like it's a good foundation so far. It's good. It's good. Okay. Perfect. I actually do like um, the foundation. Sorry. Let me see. I mean, you can still see my redness again through here. I don't know if you can see it um, through the camera, but that's perfectly fine. Like I mentioned, I don't mind it, especially if it's a natural finish. Um, it's expected of that it's not gonna cover. I feel like if you wanted to, you could obviously uh, build it, build the coverage, but we don't want to, that's probably fine. It's very easy to blend, so I love that. I didn't really struggle with it. So that's a plus, I'm excited for this one, yes, okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with the concealer next. Uh, the Studio Pro Concealer, I am color 106. So, or I picked color 106, hopefully is my color. Okay, so here is the packaging, not bad. Oh, that is yellow. Oh no, that's yellow. 
Let me go ahead and go with my beauty, beauty blender and see. Whoa, that is extremely, extremely yellow. I don't know, I don't think you can see it. It's not coming up on camera the way that it looks on my face, but oh my God, is this a concealer? Yeah, total coverage concealer. Why does it look crazy? Damn, I should have gotten lighter. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I mean, it, okay, so it's blending nicely. Whenever it is a yellow undertone, it honestly scares me because I don't like to look yellow. Oh, that does not look good. I don't know if you can see how like it's already lifting my foundation. Do you see that? Why? Uh, why are you lifting my foundation? Oh no, I don't like how that looks. And it's really making like my pores pop. Oh no, and it's like caking up. What is that? Oh my God, this is gonna be a huge fail. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't wanna continue. No, 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 no. Nope, no, 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 nope, 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 nope. I'm trying to fix the areas that it was lifting because it looks real patchy. And again, I feel like on camera, it might look nice, but it looks pretty, but in real life as a close-up, ooh, yikes, it looks rough. Let me set my whole face. Maybe that would do it. Come on, let's make this work. Let's make this work. Okay, so I did go ahead and just contoured my face and went ahead and I used the uh, bronzer from e.l.f. as well, just off camera because you've seen the products before and you've seen me do that many, many times. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dust off the um, remaining of the setting uh, powder. Ouch, my eyes. So I can go ahead and start with the eyeshadow. I'm so excited. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with this one, the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm very excited to use it. Look at all the beautiful colors. <gasps> Exciting. I'm gonna use some color today. It has 35 color uh, pressed pigment palettes. Oh, they're tiny. <laughs> I don't know why I thought they were, going, they were going to be a lot bigger, but that are that, that's tiny, tiny, tiny. Little mirror, so that's cute. Let me go ahead and start with, oh, I wanna use some yellow, but I'm already wearing yellow. I like to go in and like just set my entire eyelid first, but they don't have like a natural color. I, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Uh, palette, the contour palette, and I'm gonna go in with this one just to kind of set my entire eyelid, just so everything can blend really nicely. So the brushes feel really, really nice and soft. I love that. In the past, I've purchased some MAC um, brushes, and man, it, it felt like it was scratching my eyelid. I don't know if it was just a bad, um, a bad brush or what, but that really kept me from buying any more of them because that hurt. And they're not cheap, they're expensive. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. Just focus that right here. And then slowly start going in circles and just blending that. And slowly move it more to the center of the eyelid. Like that, you see that? And I want it to be a little bit deeper, like smoky. I'm gonna go ahead and go back and just really, really put that, like just pack that on. I'm not seeing any fallout just yet. So that's a huge plus. Blends really nicely, so I like that as well. Kinda wanna bring it out just a little bit right here. And then I wanna go with the smaller precise brush. And I wanna see if this one will look nicely right here just and right underneath that green color just give me something whoa that's a beautiful color that color is gorgeous go back in with the green just a tiny bit and just kind of blend that together just a little bit when i get rid of any harsh lines of the shadow and oh maybe even like a nice darker yellow just a tiny, tiny bit right underneath the nice little like teal color. Like this one, that's more like a teal, right? So, and you just kind of go back and forth, back and forth until you perfect um, the look that you were going for. They're looking really nice to the eyelid, so I do like that. And they're easy to blend and they're very pigmented. So that's nice, you don't have to really do too much on it. And I wanna go back in 
with the lime green. <laughs> so, lightly blend this all together. Right there. Do you see that? Hopefully this turns out nice. If not, I'm not going to post it. I'm going with this color right here. Very beautiful. Well, it looks beautiful in the pan. Hopefully it applies beautifully on the eyelid. Pack this all over the eyelid. Like it's not really showing as much. And this one is, um, this one does have fallout. Not a lot, but it does have some. Let me just pr uh, spray some, some Fix Plus or some spray. I'll bring it to life. Let me see. There we go. I know you can see that. That's a huge difference. So this eye color is not going to be for everyone. I believe me, I completely understand, but it's just fun to play with different colors and maybe, I don't know, you have like a, a Brazil party theme. You can go ahead and just do this eye look if you want to. Sorry. I'm gonna go in with my finger and see if that really does a difference because I feel like it's not really doing what I wanted to do. Sometimes you have to just use your finger. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go um, off camera, do my other eye, put on my false uh, eyelashes, my eyebrows, and then finish off the underneath of the eye, and hopefully that brings it all together. All right, so I'm back. My eyelashes are on and my eyebrows are done. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my palette again, just to add some color underneath the um, my eye, just so we can put everything together. And I'm gonna just um, pack that. Kind of just really focus on the corner, the outer corner of my eye. Oh, the color really does come through very, very nice. I love that color. Sorry. I'm gonna go in with this one right here. Just a little bit to kind of blend that out. Do that. <gasps> Pretty. Okay, do you see the colors really come through? <gasps> it's very nice, isn't it? I love it. I honestly do love the look. I've never done anything like this before or like this colorful and I'm here for it. I love the way it looks. The eyeshadow is applied very, very nicely. So I do love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and complete the face. Let's go in with the with this one. And if I feel like I need more color, then I'll go with this one. So it just kind of, whoa, pigmented. Okay, just put that. Ooh, they smell nice. I didn't know they were like scented um, blushes. <gasps> That's exciting. Ooh, the color is gorgeous. A bit on the temples of my forehead, just to kind of make bring everything together. And then of course, you know, I love some blush down the nose. Pretty, pretty, this is a win. Yes, I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the highlighter palette. So these are pretty big, so I'm okay with that. Like maybe this one. This one is pretty, this one's a dream one. So you can you can see it. You can for sure see the, the blinding. Ooh, that's pretty. Do you see that? I honestly wish it was more intense. Am I crazy? Next, I'm gonna go in with a lipstick. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and obviously do nude. Okay, so I'm back. I just went ahead and I went in with a nice little nude uh, lip color. What do you think? Color is nice, not nice. Should have done like a nice little gloss instead. I did use my um, NYX uh, lip liner, the um, MPL 10 Nude, and then I went in with my MAC Whirl. Love that shade, so beautiful. All right, that's it, you guys. We are finished with today's look. And I did use a lot of the products, or all of the products. Actually, no, I didn't use the eyeliner. Oh well. But I did use most of the products. We have some hits and some misses. I had a lot of fun filming this for you today. Thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me. I hope you're having a beautiful day or night wherever you are. Please, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. That really helps me a lot. We'll see you next time. Bye. You guys, today it is all about beat. Did I say ColourPop? This is BH Cosmetics.